G'day, it's Mark here at Bandits and Comedy Life Australia. We're very excited to be introducing the new Front Runner range to the Comedy Life uh, offerings. Front Runner is a South African company and have for many, many years, uh, back from their Land Rover and G-Wagon days, uh, been creating wonderful roof accessories fundamentally, roof platforms and lots of accessories for expedition vehicles. So what we're going to have a look at today is how that applies to the Volkswagen T5 and T6 and new T6.1 range. Behind me here is a short wheelbase T6 four motion vehicle. It's actually a crew van with five seats, but we're gonna focus on the outside of the vehicle today. So the crew van, uh, this particular crew van is ready for expedition. We've got the cycle equipment, underbody protection, uh, the, the really great offer of German grammar tires, race suspension, etc. Uh, and now we're going to see how we can carry the gear we need for our, for our expeditions. We can see here, uh, sorry, well, there's a lot going on on this roof. And we've achieved that with the absolute foundation of the front runner range, as far as it relates to our Volkswagen T6, is the, is the slimline roof platform. Now this may be a little bit different to what you've seen before. The slimline roof platform does indeed use a backbone system to mount onto the four fixed points of the short wheelbase transporter or the five of the long wheelbase transporter. But the, 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 the platform planks that run on the platform go across the vehicle. That becomes very useful as you'll see in a minute. Uh, and we can have a standard number of planks with gaps between them, but we can actually even put even more in there. So we have one customer as a photographer who's actually creating a true platform to put all this photography equipment on there and so on. The platform itself, once installed, supports up to 60 accessories from front runner. I think one of the least expensive accessories is $15, our bottle opener, which is critical on an expedition, uh, through to some, some really outstanding uh, accessories, including our quick release brackets for the big front runner tent that you can see on top of this vehicle, which we'll come back to a little bit later in this film. Let's have a look at one of the more simple ones at first. We've just put our shovel holder on here. This is a four motion Volkswagen. We do not expect to get stuck. But just on the off chance, we have some particularly arduous conditions. We've got a shovel and some max tracks. The shovel holder is, we only just applied it just a few moments ago. Very, very quick to apply. It's now really securely on here, but I can release it with this release catch here. And this is now liberated. That's now liberated. I can reinsert this just now. And once it's reinserted, we can ratchet it back up and lock it on. So that's really, really, really useful uh, for our vehicle here. We also have the Max Trax. The Max Trax holder also applies to the side of the vehicle. We can see we also get some really good tie down uh, points further on the Max Trax holder. But this is for the specific, the original Max Trax uh, product. So that Max Trax holder applies really nicely to the, to the side of the, the backbone platform. Just behind the original Max Trax is in fact Front runners, one of their most popular products is the Wolfpack Box. The Wolfpack Box uh, is an outstanding way to carry kit, and the kit is uh, uh, secured under these four clips here, and that holds around about 40 odd litres. There is actually optionally a larger lid for this. How do you keep it on here? Well, there is this very, very cool stratchet system. There's a long and a short. We highly recommend the long, it's not really that much dearer but you can always make something longer, a little bit shorter. Uh, the stretcher is uh, a bit of a revelation to me, I must concede. It's a little bit like a cross between a bungee and a ratchet. So that's why it's called a stretcher. I think it stretches like this. So that takes up, a, that absorbs a lot of the bumps that we get on the uh, off-road expeditions. But we can also ratchet it tight and get that tension that we want. So when we have kayaks, uh, wolf pack boxes, all sorts of kit on our roof, it will try and move over those uh, difficult terrain, but this will absorb that and keep it really tight. And that is here uh, able to carry up to 120 kilograms uh, of, of weight or force, if you like. So a really, really solid invention. And we really, really, really like the, the stretcher. So check those out online as well. Let's have a look around towards the rear of the vehicle. We've put on the uh, the back of the platform quite a number of really good accessories. So the first one that we can see here Is uh, the jerry can holders 
So this is a single holder that can cope with up to two jerry cans. Each jerry can is 20 litres, so I have 40 litres of additional fuel. Um, obviously on something like the canning stock route, we've got fuel dumps, but if we're going on somewhere where there's no fuel dumps, we do need that additional fuel over and above the 80 odd litres inside this vehicle. We can add another 40 litres here. That's an extra 50% fuel capacity uh, alone on the roof. Notice as well, they're black. Our front runner uh, reliably told me this is the only black uh, jerry can uh, available in this market at all. So uh, if you like black like I do, these are the ones to go for. We also have up here 45 litres of water in our water canister holder. So there's a canister holder and the actual water canister. And then there's some fittings and attachments we can have. So we'll just put a fairly simple, with a front runner accessory here, very simple uh, uh, mount for our tap. And that's a simple inline valve. And then we can add a hose. We just add a hose just to pop that on and bring the hose down here to have some additional water at the rear kitchen system. So this vehicle is fitted with the Van Essa mobile camping sleep system in kitchen. There's a sink and a fridge and so on all in here. And then it's always useful to have a little bit of additional water. As you know, on our Combi Life site, we do have the rear tailgate tents, everything from the van shower cubicle tent to some of the larger tailgate tents. So if you want to use that as your shower supply, that's a great way to do it with that tap up there as well. We we'll also notice, and I'm going to use the, the, the ladder now, we have a gas bottle holder up there as well. We've had a lot of interest in these ladders. Uh, this ladder is unique to the T6, with the T6 shape of the tailgate here, with a slightly different spoiler compared to the T5. But the ladder can go on in a non-permanent way, using the hinge points at the top, and either permanently bolt through, or in this case, uh, just use the Velcro system here, which keeps the ladder nice and secure. This ladder can hold my weight and more, and we'll see up here, I've got now easy access to my gas bottle holder, um, which is currently holding a two kilogram gas bottle, but the gas bottle holder is valid for up to four kilograms. and has some nice release releases here to, to grab that uh, gas bottle off. What I can also do while I'm on my ladder here is use my bottle opener. So the bottle opener is just fixed to the very back of the platform here. And I reckon I could reach up to, to reach the bottle opener, but the ladder makes it even more convenient just to go and uh, use the bottle opener with the good German beers you know that brought along on the expedition. You'll also notice on front runner slimline roof platform that we're able to put our spare tyre. It's often a question for our T5 and T6 uh, four motion customers who are equipping their vehicles for expeditions. They've maybe put some larger tyres on within spec, and those tyres do not fit in the spare wheel carry under the vehicle. So one possible solution is to put the tyre on the roof, and that's exactly what we've done here. Let's take a little bit of a closer look. The tyre, which is a 225 70, 17, 225 70, 17 has a quite a large outside diameter, uh, 329 mils, and that is held on here with the front runner spare tyre carrier, and that's obscured that actual mounting hardware by what the South Africans call the prai, which is the barbecue. So this barbecue plate just literally holds on with friction to these tyres, anything from 29 up to right up to 35 inches, and that can just be easily liberated from there, popped on the ground, charcoals underneath, and you have a pretty sizable capacity barbecue uh, with that there as well. We've also got a closer look here now at the, at the tent. So the tent is mounted to the platform using the front runner quick release brackets. And speaking of the quick release brackets, so is our awning mounted to the front runner platform with the quick release brackets. If we have a look under here, we can see these silver releases make it very, very quick to liberate the actual, uh, the actual bracket. So I'm gonna do that up here as well. There's a second one, it says two brackets push it up and liberate. That's now liberated. And I can now remove this from the vehicle. And if I happen to have this cute, uh, you know, this very useful little accessory uh, mounted into my garage wall, so I might put that there, have two of those on my wall in the same distance as on the vehicle. I can literally lift this off the vehicle now and just hang it on my wall if I don't want this to be permanently on the vehicle. So let's have a look here. That's the back of the front runner quick release bracket. How good is that? So that makes it very, very simple to remove the awning. And we can see here that clip mechanism 
hooks up over and down and then locks on. We have that release mechanism there. So that is very useful. And that mechanism is fundamentally the same as what we see here under the tent. So have a quick look here, under the tent, you'll see just up in here, that is the same mechanism. So push that in, release that. That's now liberated. I do that four times. And now I can just slide this tent a little bit forward and off the vehicle. So if we don't want to be traveling all the time with the rooftop tent, I can quickly uh, release it. I will put that back, I don't want to forget that, and drive with an unsecured rooftop tent. Let's have another little bit of a look further around the front of the vehicle here. I know you think there couldn't be much, much more we can fit on this platform, but there is. And we'll see here that uh, we've added one additional item, and you may have guessed what it already is. It's the, uh, the new to front runner, and new to us, Osram light bar. This light bar is one of the widest we can fit, but there are smaller versions of this light bar, and it's protected by this optional shield here. So that just pops down, and uh, that uh, creates, let me just say from our recent trip to Braidwood Four Motion Training Weekend, an extraordinary amount of light off this vehicle when we're driving through those forests there. Uh, we could see, um, you know, we, we could see a long way. So that was a really useful enhancement to this particular vehicle. So why don't we now have a look at the actual front runner tent. Uh, it's a good option to be able to expand the sleeping capacity of this uh, increasingly awesome expedition van. So let's take a look at the tent now. Once we've removed the cover, we'll be able to pull the tent open by pulling our ladder. There's a couple of preset stops for the clips. And as we pull out, we'll just feel for those, not going too far, far past them. They click in now, and now we can lever it open. And pull it out very comfortably. Now the next task is to insert the aluminium uh, stays and then the fly rods. Our next task, now that the tent is open, is to find this bag, which is inside the tent when you buy it, and you'll find in here there are six rods. These are called our fly rods. The fly rods come in two different lengths. There are four short ones with a straight bottom and two long ones with a little angled bottom. The two long ones are for the middle of the tent. The four shorter ones are for the front and rear. I'm going to go upstairs and pop them in now. We've got fly rod number one in. How do we do that? This is the for the front and rear we have with a straight edge, a little o-ring at the bottom. There's a little gap here and a socket for this. And I look at the angle of the hook at the end, pop that in nicely and pull that up. So let's, let's uh, pop that in again. Pull that up. So this is out. Grab the end. Now there's a little black cap on the end just so there's no sharp edges. Pull the cap off, maybe put the little cap back on, and that's now, that flies now up really nicely, giving us a really nice shaded area over the ladder. So we've set the tent up, all the flies, six fly rods are out. And you can see it's a pretty roomy tent in here for two people. There's a little bit of a shelf area here for your shoes, a little bit of a, a, a non-mattress area, and there's some great pockets for storage uh, set up in the tent on both sides. So that is a very handy feature. And if we have a look through the tent, we're able to actually see quite happily what we've got on the Front Runner Expedition platform. Everything from the Max Tracks the two 20 litre jerry cans, the 45 litres of water, the 2 kg gas bottle, the bry on top of our oversized uh, tyre here, and also the wolf pack boxes held on with the held on with the stratchets there. So we can see that really nicely there, the stratchets holding on that wolf pack box. So don't forget in the tent, we also have 
a skylight opportunity. So we can undo that. And additional ventilation in the tent. So these will roll up. Roll these up and secure them. But that just provides some additional ventilation on those warm summer evenings. Well, there you have it. That's the front runner. Expedition 10 on top of our front runner slimline platform short wheelbase for T5 and T6. Happy camping. Thanks for watching.